If you have followed my channel for any period of time, back in October, I uploaded a video um, on the AM15. That video was up for, I think, like 36 hours and had like 300,000 views, and YouTube deleted it and put a strike on my channel. Well, um, they said that I violated the terms and conditions of the rules and the guidelines. Well, I didn't know what those rules and guidelines were at the time. Now they have come out and stated what they were. So I went back in and I edited out um, some of the parts so that there's going to be a lot of <laughs> a lot of ugly chops in this video. Uh, there's going to be some censorship, um, but the video will now uh, pass YouTube's terms and conditions. So I'm trying to play by the rules. That way I can keep uh, my channel and this platform and my livelihood. So without any further ado, the AM15. It's a good day. I've got in my hands an AM15. Now, you may have noticed at the beginning of the video, this is not semi-automatic. This is not a binary trigger. This is a fully automatic AM15. Uh, of course, chambered in 22 long rifle. You may be familiar with the old American 180s. This takes the exact same drum mag. It takes a little while to load, but let's just go over some of the features of the AM15. It, it just makes me happy. All right. All right, so what we got here is basically a full auto AR-15 lower. Uh, my friends with Silencer Central brought this down for me to make a video with, and it's actually been one of the dream guns that I wanted to shoot, but not the AM-15. I didn't know this thing existed till probably a couple of months ago. Uh, the American 180 is probably one of the only machine guns, well, I wanna own a lot of machine guns, but one of the cool machine guns that I actually want to own so I'm going to get some close-up pictures of this upper, and it is kind of neat, all right? So basically, you slide the magazine uh, in here, and since the magazine works on a spring that you wind, it actually forces the 22 round down here, and it's a bottom ejector. Um, the rate of fire on this thing is just stupid fast. You're talking about 1,000 rounds per minute, and... I don't know what else to say about it. You know, I'm not going to tell you about the the uh, the pick rails on the side or anything like that because that's kind of pointless. The cool part of it, it's full auto. Let me load another magazine. Let's do some more shooting. Here's the magazine that the AM15 takes, and I'm going to show you how to load it briefly. This is the same magazine that the American 180 uses. So I just loaded 15 rounds. So you would continue to go all the way around, and then you can go all the way around again. Then you simply Get your spring back out, pop it back in there, like so, and then that's when you can turn it. Uh, I would suggest wait till it's on the firearm to turn it, because if you don't, what's going to happen, uh, this particular one, the lock is not working, so usually that would put a brake on this from spinning, but if you let go, you can tell right here, it would just dump all the rounds back out so i would not suggest doing that but i'm gonna load up some mini mags and we're gonna do a little bit more shooting so once you got your magazine semi-filled it's not filled all the way up because it just takes a long time to fill this magazine up simply place it in the firearm like so there's a little button on the back locks it in now you don't want to turn the spring until it's in the firearm uh, now you can lock it with this little switch if you want to but if you don't and you go to turn it it's just going to dump all the rounds out. So you make sure it's on the firearm and you give it about one and a half revolution of turn uh, uh, per row of ammunition. So if you have three rows here, you would turn it one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. So it fires from the open bolt. And the cool thing about this firearm, since it is 22 long rifle, it is very controllable. So I'm going to try to shoot, put the, some rounds on the target down there at 100 yards. I've got it suppressed now, so this is the Banish 22 suppressor. It's probably my favorite suppressor, rimfire suppressor that's on the market right now. So let's just try out there at 100 yards. So I, I just tap the trigger. You can't, like I'm gonna just try to tap it as quick as I can and only fire one round off. Three shots. There's no way that you can just do a single round. This firearm is either safe or fully automatic or so.
<laughs> so you can empty a magazine pretty quick. Let me load this thing back up. I got the Magazula loaded up with some CCI mini mags. Got the skeet thrower ready. I don't know if this Crimson Trace red dot is sighted in well enough to do this, but I'm gonna try to hit a skeet full auto. So, all right, pull. Pull. <laughs> Pull. Oh, got a jam. All right, I think we're good. All right. Pull. <laughs> Pull. Uh, how can I hit these skeet with a 22 pistol about every other time, but I can't hit them? with a full auto 22. So there is one thing about this firearm. Uh, it does jam quite often. Sometimes when shooting rimfire, they get a little dirty. We got this cleaned up a little bit. Let's see if I can hit one this time. All right, pull. I have no idea if I'm going high, low, or what. Pull. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to empty the rest of the mag. I probably got Pull. Oh, let's see. Up, oh, got another. It's cold out here. This thing does not want to run that well. Here we go. Pull. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> Pull. Oh. I finally hit one. So I guess it is possible to hit one. I think I was aiming or shooting a little bit high. So let me load this thing up with some tracers and see if I can get a mag dump to work. All right, I have a mag loaded up with some tracers. Let's see if I can get a whole mag dump in. <laughs> yeah, it worked. All right, let's end the video out with a little bit more planking out of the AM-15. <laughs> Guys, I tell you, it's a dream come true to actually shoot this firearm. One of these days, I'm gonna get one of the American 180s, bring it out here to the range, but I gotta find somebody who actually has one. But when she runs, she runs great. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.